Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to show you a comparison between Good Notes 5 and Samsung Notes. So in the first part, I will explain you the exclusive feature of Good Notes 5 that Samsung Notes don't have. And in the second part, I will explain you the exclusive feature of Samsung Notes. So guys, the first exclusive feature that Good Notes 5 have is the navigation option. So you can see on top, there are different tabs open, okay? So I can easily switch between different notes. So these tabs are related to the previously used notes, okay? So I can uh, switch in any note and then I can start working on it, okay? And then I can easily move move to another note and I can also work on this note but on the other side Samsung notes don't have this tab option where you can easily switch between different notes all you have to do is you have to use the split screen option open the Samsung notes in other uh, split screen mode and then you can switch between different notes the next tool is really important in terms of uh, presentations uh, which good notes 5 provide uh, the name of the tool is laser point so whenever you select the laser pointer you can easily use this pointer to highlight anything in your notes okay so for example I want to highlight this okay so you can see over here and then if I go to some other um, notes and I want to highlight something in my presentation I can use it uh, there is other option available as well it's like a dot okay laser dot so for example I go to other note and you can see over here there is a small red color dot it's like a laser dot okay so you can see if I move okay so if you want to highlight something you can use this uh, laser pointer okay and then on the other side Samsung notes don't have this laser pointer tool the next feature is related to collaboration which good notes 5 provide so guys you can share your page with your colleagues with your student fellows and they can edit your page in real time so all of you can edit same page in real time so here you can see there is an option of share link to collaborate so they can view they can comment and they can also edit it and so this is really exclusive in good notes 5 but on the other hand samsung notes don't have uh, this kind of feature the next feature is related to lesso tool which is really amazing in good notes 5 so for example i select this handwritten note so i just draw a line on top of this handwritten note and now it selected the whole handwritten note and I will show you I can easily move it okay so you can see I just draw this line okay and now I can easily select any part of the handwritten note now the second thing is I can also rotate it okay so for example I select it and now I want to rotate okay I just select it I just select it like this and then I select this resize option and here I can rotate it okay so you can see so lesser tool has a lot of amazing functionality in good notes 5 same way i just select uh, this uh, uh, diagram okay i just select it and now i can easily move it okay i just select it and now you can see i can easily move this diagram as well uh, the other options also include if we select it there is a menu so if you want to disable some of its function for example if you don't want to select image you can just disable it now I just select this whole part include this image okay so I just select it like this and now I try to move so you can see image is still there because I disable it in the menu so lasso tool has a lot of um, amazing functionality in good notes file on the other side Samsung notes also has the lasso tool but with very limited functionality so for example I select this lasso tool and I just draw this line okay so now you can see it uh, it does not select the whole handwritten note instead it just select uh, this one part okay so if I want to select the uh, whole handwritten note I have to make like a circle around it okay so for example if I make a circle like this and now I can move it 
okay on the other side it is not giving the option uh, related uh, uh, to the diagram if i want to uh, if i don't want to include the diagram it does not have this kind of function the next tool that i am going to talk about is hand written to text tool uh, so guys uh, both have the hand written to text tool but good notes 5 have something special so for example if i try to write something okay so i write here okay and then you can see it converted into the text but it is also giving me different option related to borders related to background all i have to do i have to go over here and then you can see it is giving me the option of background color so for example if i want to change the background color so you can see there are different background color options okay and then if i want to change the border color i can also change the border color okay so you can see so this will be really helpful to make your notes interactive okay then we have more options over here that you can use on the other side samsung notes also have the hand written to text tool option but it does not uh, provide any kind of background uh, color the border color option the next feature is related to shape tool uh, so guys in good notes 5 whenever uh, we use the shape tool and we draw any kind of shape okay we can use the eraser to erase any specific part for example if i want to erase only this part i can use the eraser okay so you can see over here i can easily use the eraser to uh, erase this specific part but on the other side samsung knows does not have this feature so for example if i draw a shape okay like this and then if i try to erase it will not erase anything okay the only way we have to erase is just by selecting it and then we can uh, use this delete option to delete it the next feature that i want to mention here is for example if i use pen uh, to draw any kind of shape so for example if i try to draw this kind of uh, triangle so you can see i can easily move it okay so i can move it anywhere uh, in my notes okay so this will be really helpful uh, in making different kind of diagram or graphs okay so i can move it any anywhere okay but on the other side in samsung notes if i try to draw any kind of shape by using this pen and hold option so you can see if i try to move it is not moving anywhere the next feature is related to palm rejection sensitivity so in good notes 5 you can change the palm rejection sensitivity by just selecting this stylus and palm rejection option so if you select this sensitivity option you can see it is providing you three different options high medium or low so it's up to you whichever sensitivity you want the second thing is it is also giving you the writing posture option so for example i select this writing posture so it is giving you different writing postures option so you can select whichever writing posture you have and it will help you to make your notes on the other side samsung notes don't have uh, this uh, specific palm rejection sensitivity or the writing posture option the next feature is related to flashcards so if you like flashcard uh, type of study so you can use this uh, flashcards option okay so you can use this study flashcard option uh, the next feature is related to gestures so for example if i double tap it with one finger you can zoom in zoom out if i use these two fingers it will help me uh, for the uh, undo okay so you can see i can also use the three fingers okay for undo option uh, and then uh, we have the sticker uh, tool in uh, good notes 5 you have different sticker options okay so you can see uh, it is uh, exclusively uh, by the good notes 5 you can use this stickers option but on the samsung notes we don't have this kind of stickers option so now uh, let's move to the second part of the video uh, in which i will explain uh, the exclusive feature of samsung notes so guys the first feature that samsung notes have is you can use it like a translucent paper i will show you how does it work so for example i open uh, here internet browser i open uh, the google and i search this image now i want to draw the same image into my notes what i can do is i just open uh, the samsung notes okay so you can see it open here like this and now i can change its position uh, to make it little bigger okay so for example 
I will make it big like this and now I can just change the opacity of Samsung notes I just select this option and I change it like this now guys I can easily draw this image into my notes okay my notes are still there but I just change its opacity now for example if I try to draw I can easily draw this heart shape okay so you can see so now I can easily draw the outlines everything is clearly visible my note is still there so you can see uh, and uh, you can see I can make any adjustment okay so this is really helpful uh, for students if they are trying to draw different diagrams or different graphs so uh, guys you can see my drawing has been completed now what I can do is I just uh, put the opacity back to its normal position okay so you can see I increase it so now here is my uh, diagram and now I can make it full size okay so here you can see and now if you want you can uh, change its color okay so for example if you want to change the outline okay so for example like this from inside if you want you can change it okay so you can do a lot with this if you want to label it you can label it as well uh, but on the other side uh, GoodNotes 5 do not have uh, this feature the next feature is related to action icons uh, in Samsung notes so for example if I try to write any email ID so I write this uh, email ID okay and now what I will do is I just bring my pen closer to the screen closer to this part so you can see there is a small icon related uh, to the email appear I just select it and then you can uh, complete this action by sending email to this specific ID so you can write any email ID and then you can send them email uh, the other option is you can also uh, use uh, this option for calculation so for example I write here 3 plus 8 equals now what I will do is I just bring my pen closer to the uh, screen closer to this equation you see there is a small icon appear related to the calculator so you just select it and it will open the calculator with the same equation and the answer so this is really really amazing you can also write numbers to make a call as well uh, in GoodNotes 5 you do not have this feature so guys in Samsung notes you can also lock your notes so for example I select this uh, note and then you see there is a small option small icon uh, related to the lock so if you lock it you can lock it with uh, your password or you can use uh, the fingerprint sensor as well so for example I select this settings icon and here you will see the lock options okay so you can see no unlock methods so if you just select it you can select the password option or you can use the fingerprint option so if you have something important in your notes uh, you can lock your notes this feature does not include in good notes 5 the next feature is related to voice recording so guys you can record your lecture and you can make your notes at the same time so you can see this voice recording option you can just turn it on and then you can start Start recording your lecture and you can make your notes as well okay so this is really helpful if you are in a classroom and you want to record the lecture uh, the second thing is you can also attach the audio file as well if you have already existing file in your uh, tablet so you can also attach it and uh, this feature does not include in good notes 5 uh, the next feature is related to drawing so in samsung notes there is a specific feature related to drawing if i just select it it will open a new window in front of me where i have different tools related to drawing so you can see there are different type of brushes available okay so you can see over here different brushes option available you can use different pencil options okay so you can use this okay so you can use and then once you finish with your drawing you can done it and it will uh, uh, input it will import into your Samsung Note so this is really amazing uh, but this feature does not include in good notes 5 guys in Samsung notes you can export your notes uh, as a 
PDF file, Word file, PowerPoint file, image file, or text file. But on the other side, in Good Notes file, you can only export your notes as a PDF, as a image, or as a Good Note file. So it does not provide you uh, the PowerPoint option or the Word file option. The next thing uh, which is exclusive in Samsung Notes is you can add tags into your notes. So if you select this option, you see this tag tags option okay so here you can write down any tag okay which will be really helpful uh, for your notes you can find it out easily uh, but in good notes five there is no tag option so guys the next feature is related to off screen note so for example uh, if my tablet is locked i can use my s pen button okay i press and hold it and tap on my screen two times and then it will open the Samsung notes for me and here I can write anything I can make my notes okay so you can see over here the next feature is related to widgets option so Samsung notes uh, provide you three different type of widgets option so I will show you one is over here that I uh, insert it into my home screen uh, the next two widgets I will show you if I go to widgets option I go to Samsung notes and here you can see all three widgets option that Samsung notes provide but on the other side good notes 5 do not have this type of option the last thing that I want to mention here is Samsung Notes is completely free. Uh, but Good Notes 5, it is giving you the option of three notebooks. But if you want to use more notebooks, if you want to create more notes, you have to buy it. Uh, and the price is $7.99. You have, you have to pay it only one time. Uh, so guys, this is for today's video. I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. So please do subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you very much.